Former Florida State standout and NFL free agent Freddie Stevenson is sharing his life struggles in his new ebook, Trials to Triumph. He joins us this morning to talk a little bit more about it and how he's motivating others to overcome adversity. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me this morning. Absolutely. So, Freddie, tell us a little bit about the book um, for those who might not know your story. Yes, it talks about my journey to the NFL, overcoming homelessness, poverty, and so many different obstacles in, in route to accomplishing my ultimate goal. So many gems are dropped in this book, and I faced so much adversity over the years. And throughout this book, you'll just find so much inspiration. And I think the reason it's been so successful is because right now, so many people are going through a hard time with COVID, and it's challenging people in ways that they could never imagine. So. The fact that I was able to overcome so much adversity is resonating with a lot of people. Yeah, Freddie, it's absolutely a beautiful story. I have not read your book yet, but I read some of the stories within your book. And the one that particularly resonated with me was the story of you, your mom, and your siblings at McDonald's. Oh, I, I have a similar memory uh, at a pizza shop. Tell us that story. Yes, it was, I believe, like 8 o'clock one evening. And... At the time, we were homeless, just trying to find food each day. And my mother, she gathered everybody up, and she took us to a McDonald's. And once we got to the McDonald's, she ordered a cheeseburger. The total came out to a dollar and five cents. My mother didn't have a nickel, so she had to go around McDonald's and beg for a nickel because the cashier wouldn't allow her to get the burger. And upon leaving, she got, she got the cheeseburger, split it up, and then handed it out to everybody. And as we were eating, she, we started noticing that she wasn't eating as well. And my older sister, she asked her why, my, why she wasn't eating. And my mother burst out into tears because that day she couldn't eat with us. And it was a tough time, but it ultimately motivated every single thing that I did. Yeah, that, it's, it's an incredibly beautiful story. And like I said, it, thank you for sharing that. It, it definitely resonates. And it you know highlights the idea that many people have gone through struggles. What is it that keeps you going? And, and what keeps you in this journey of positivity? I just think ultimately at the place I'm at in life right now, just seeing everything that I've been able to overcome. And at the time, I didn't really understand why I was going through those things, but they really strengthened me for the journey ahead. So just understanding that the, the trials that you may face in life, they're ultimately preparing you for a bigger purpose that you have in life. I thought that my purpose was playing football, but that dream came to an end quickly. And now I'm giving back and telling my story. And it's been amazing. Yeah, well, congratulations. You know, before I let you go, you did mention right now it's COVID. You know, life is hard in so many aspects. What's the one thing that you would share with our community to let them know, to keep in mind uh, as we all travel in this journey called life? Whatever bit of hope you have to grasp onto, keep hold of it. Because I know during these times, time, times are hard and people, it's easy to give up, but do not give up. I remember after I, I left the league and I was just trying to figure things out in life and went in a phase of depression, had suicidal thoughts. That little bit of hope that I had still, still in me, that's really what kept me going. And I knew that there was something out there that I could achieve greater. So that little bit of hope, everybody has it in them, no matter how tough life gets, hold on to that and continue to persevere. Beautifully said. Freddie Stevenson, author of Trials to, Tri to Triumph. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us this morning. Thank you for having me.